hey, 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 we are keeping it fresh here in Sabo. From the north to the south, the east to the west, we stay on Fliggy. Malo Lele and welcome to Fresh. For the people, by the people. Let's go. Woo! This week, Fresh has got a great show lined up just for you. Today, we'll try and learn just a little bit more about some of our Pacific neighbors. Like Guam. PMA, you from Guam, I'm from the Cook Islands. We can meet in the middle. I'm Sam V, the one, the learning. And this is my song for you. She's so soothing light. The ocean rushing on the... To fix climate change, we all have to drive electric cars. Who cares if your family doesn't even have a car? What Indigenous people see as just service, that's just the right thing to do. Other people see as activism. How fresh are you? Just a dance. You said the answer and then you got schooled by him. Singer. Oh, Sammy Johnson. <laughs> Sammy J. <Jay. laughs> Bible baby, I only What's up, my name is Angangale Fili and I'm young, gifted and brown. The way that I would describe what I do is that it all comes out of service. What indigenous people see as just service, that's just the right thing to do. Other people see as activism. Being a spoken word poet, being a writer, um, that's a massive part of what I do, especially because I think art has the potential to shift the narrative and shift culture in a way that a lot of different fields can't. Because if you can say mate maatonga, that you'll die for your kingdom, you can learn about climate change so your kingdom can live. All the news that we know now about potential life expectancies on certain islands, like the concept was just so wild to me. I was naive in the sense that I thought that it would be focused on those who are most in need, except that when I went to climate forums, they were talking about how to fix climate change, we all have to drive electric cars. Who cares if your family doesn't even have a car? Like, it was kind of just like, so For the Culture started off um, as a collective of students really just trying their best to do what we could to make these things accessible to our friends, to these students. Hi, also, my name is Philly, we're part of 40K For the Culture. We're a South Auckland Indigenous Environmental Group and we organise for people to come on the buses. We were not an NGO. <laughs> we were not established, we had no funding, no adults. We had to hustle to get coins to go on the train to take to city, to actually make it to the strikes in the first place. And we were really just trying our best to do what we could with what we had. Um, we actually ended up organizing the third and largest climate strike, which, and we really tried our hardest and try our hardest to continue to open up these conversations so people could see the intersections and not just the mainstream climate conversation that seems to drown out the voices of those most in need and those who are actually being affected. Oh, some people actually thought we were a gang because people would say 40K, 40K, and be like, is that a new gang or something? <laughs> no, we were not a gang. Um, but... I understand, actually. My husband is Samoan, uh, so Talofa. Um, a lot of people don't actually know that I was the one who had asked the question to Judith and I was the one she was saying talofa to. A lot of my friends and a lot of people in South Auckland schools were dropping out to work and provide for their families because it was the first year of the pandemic hitting. I had asked Judith and Jacinda at the leaders debate um, what they were planning to do to support these students who had to drop out. And in response, she had said, oh, I understand my, my husband is Samoan, so talofa. It became like a massive joke. But for it to be a joke to the point that no one even cared what the issue was about, I felt very disheartened. 
Um, but I felt even more... Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You can take a moment no. if you want to. Um, I think I felt most disheartened by the fact that our students were sacrificing so much. Essentially risking your health in order to provide for your family and then risking your education on top of that. And for everyone to just make it a meme instead of a serious issue. When you let that actually get in the way of helping the people you're trying to defend, it seems very performative, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We kind of just got sick of running around for decisions. For the culture team, up of Oceania and Ohana, who work here at AET South Campus. And we decided to make a homework sensor, which was called Time for Greatness. And by the end of it, we had over 1,400 students come through. And all of it was free. Um, we had amazing tutors. That's how Time for Greatness started. A lot of Pacifica and a lot of indigenous children have leadership skills ingrained into them. The best leadership is one that is built on empathy, because then it means that it's built on love. Pretty baby, it's my night to make an interest happier, because I'm so damn bright. I know they see the way I glow. I can't fake it, baby boy. I'm the real show. There's no room for insecurity. I don't hear the diss, because I believe me. I got stacks of pants. You see me bobbing the room. I'm killing the walk and I'm ready to bloom. I'm just two heels and this dress is luck. Bible, baby, I only impress right from the get go. I lose for this. No BS, just purity. You can't buy my style. It don't come for free. Gonna dance all night. I'm the main event. I slayed the party and I'm heaven sent. Pretty baby, it's my night to make an interest. Hell yeah, cause I'm so damn bright. I know they see the way I glow. I can't fake it, baby boy. I'm the real show. You forgot if you ain't shining, baby. That's just not my fault. Gonna drive to Hollywood and we're gonna shine out the stars. Hollywood. Gotta get to Hollywood. Cruising down some simple Piggy, piggy, piggy. We'll be back after the break. Keep it fresh. And your time starts now. Pass. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Swiss. Half a day. How are you? Welcome back to, to Micro Men Tries. Today we're trying the Latitia, a commonly found dessert in the land of Guam. Guam. Sponge base, custard topping, cinnamon on top. You're going to find this at your function. Your aunties are going to bring it through. What more could you ask for? Awesome freshie is up to. Fakalofala Yatu Nisa Bulavinaka, Kiora, Kiolara, Malo, Elele, and Warm Pacific greetings. Yes. Welcome back to How Fresh Are You? I'm your host, Shun Paolo Lisi, which means I'm the judge, jury, executioner, everything except make the cup of tea. Okay, we are very lucky today to have some of this country's best young dancers joining us on our panels. So let's meet our team. To my right, your left, we have Maddie and Isaiah. Welcome. And uh, what's the name your team will be using today? Uh, our team name is The Terrible Two. The Terrible Twos. All right, that sounds like a cool name. And to my left, your right, we have Jono and Jacob. Let's give it up. 
Welcome, gentlemen. And the name of your team today will be? Our team name is Passion Never Sleeps. Okay, wow. Passion Never Sleeps versus the Terrible Twos. First up, we have Rapid Fire. Let's get it on. Rapid Fire, where I ask the questions, and if our teams feel they know the answers, they're gonna hit their buzzers and give me the answer. Let's get it on. Question number one, stand by. Aloha Oi is a famous island song from which country? Bang. Isaiah. Is it Hawaii? That is correct. Well done, terrible twos. Great answer. Moving on to our next question. What UFC fighter has the nickname Bam Bam? Ha! Huh. Jacob. Taito Vasa. That is correct. Oh. Great answers. Ooh, they're both head to head. Next question. Nicki Minaj featured a man with a Samoan better in which of her music videos? Nicki Minaj has a Samoan guy with a better in her music video. What was the music video? Huh? Uh, Starships? Sorry? Starships? That is correct. Passion Never Sleeps takes the lead with that one. Next question. Here we go. What royal couple visited the Pacific in 2018? Oh, oh, um, Jacob. Kate Williams, Kate Williams and... Oh. I'm sorry. I'll stop you there. <laughs> Bang. Um, Prince Harry. And Princess Megan, or Megan? You got it, that's Woo! right, shot! Very good answer. Last question. Teams, are you ready? Stand by your buzzers. The question is, what is singer Sammy J's last name? Bang. Oh. Johnson. I'm <laughs> gonna have to go oh. with Jacob. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Johnson is correct. <laughs> Passion never sleeps, wins weapon round. Oh yeah. Don't worry, terrible twos. You're gonna have every chance to come back in our next game. Say my name. Okay, let's play Say My Name. Now in this game, I will give one player the name of a famous Pacifica person and it will be up to their teammate through clues to help them guess what that name is. Are we clear? Yeah. Now first up we have the Terrible Twos and Isaiah. Here's your name. Okay, go on, quickly. And you have 60 seconds and your time starts now. Pass, pass, pass. Pass? <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, that was a hard one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Good luck with that one. Okay, sings a song with Chris Brown. Um, and it's a really um, blondie, really skinny, TikTok famous, but she's also a really good singer. Hear me. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Next one. Oh, we're still going. Okay, rugby player, really famous, All Blacks, rugby union, not rugby league. Um, um, uh, um, you wouldn't know this one. Okay. Yeah, you won't. Oh, pass, that's two passes. Moving along. Okay, hopefully better luck with this one. Um, you said the answer and then you got schooled. You said dance? You said the answer and then you got schooled by him. Oh, Sammy Johnson. Yeah. Sammy J. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice work, Maddie. Here we go. Next one. 30 seconds to go. Okay, um, used to marry me, <laughs> Oh, David Tua. <laughs> <laughs> well done, terrible two. Some fire clues there, Maddie. Thank you. Okay, passion never sleeps. You're up. This girl. Remember, you have 60 seconds. Yeah. And your time starts now. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, real? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Starting with a pass. Next one. Hopefully, better luck oh, with that one. Um, he's a director, Maori director, real famous. Taika Waititi. Yep. Nice. nice. One. We're off. Um, Swiss. Swiss beats. Swiss. <laughs> Swiss. <laughs> um, Swiss. To be honest, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Swiss beats. Not bad. There you go. Oh. Um, oh, I was down and out. Oh, let's go. Yep, yeah, let's go. Oh, plus the lyrics, even. Yes, sir. Here we go. Oh. Tree. <laughs> Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, I think they got a system going. 
Uh, six, eight, five, baby. Um, at the line markets as well. Five. Four. Six, eight, five. Seven. <laughs> Three. Oh, Three. Oh, Two. Oh, One. Yeah, I'm sorry, Passion Never Sleeps. Your time is up. And with that win of Say My Name is Passion Never Sleeps. Oh. They are this week's winners of How Fresh Are You? Congratulations, gentlemen. Here's your prize. Thank you, thank you. And because everybody wins on Fresh, there you go, terrible too. Thank you. Thank you to all our contestants for coming in this week. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to join us again next week on How, How Fresh Are You? Are you? See you guys after the break. Guam was colonized by Spain in 1668, between the 16th and 18th centuries. Guam was an important stopover for the Spanish Manila galleons. During the Spanish-American War, the United States captured Guam. Keeping it fresh in the kingdom. Hey guys, check out what this awesome freshie is up to. Tava Falava, hello, no, Arona. I'm Sam. And we are a couple of island boys. And today, we're journeying, endeavouring to find just a little bit more about some of our Pacific neighbours. Like Guam. It's an organised, unincorporated territory of the United States in Micronesia. It is the westernmost point and territory of the United States in Oceania. People born in Guam are American citizens but have no vote in the United States presidential elections while residing on Guam. For that, I blame Joe Biden. Indigenous Guamanians are the Chamuru, historically known as the Chamorro. As of 2021, Guam's populace is 168,801, plus me when I move over and marry Pia Mia. Pia Mia, you from Guam, I'm from the Cook Islands. We can meet in the middle, be like Nauru or Tonga, or something as such. We can enjoy a long date, long walk on the beach. Put my toes in the sand. You can pay for it because you're richer than me. Pia Mia, I'm Sam V, the one, the lonely. And this is my song for you. She's so soothing, light, the ocean rushing on the sand. You're so beautiful. Sometimes I stop and close my eyes. You're exactly what Sam V needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Half a day. How are you? Welcome back to, to Micro Men Tries. Today we're trying the Latitia, a commonly found dessert in the land of Guam. Guam. Sponge base, custard topping, cinnamon on top. <clears throat> You're gonna find this at your function, your aunties are gonna bring it through. What more could you ask for? Okay, here we go. That mukbang. God damn, I'm excited. <sighs> it smells like cinnamon, because the cinnamon's on top. You gotta make sure you get all the the, mm -hmm. the sponge yeah, and the... Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Who made this? This is fantastic. She did a stellar job. Mm. Whoever made this, proud of her. Basically, the custard, very well set. I think that's how they say that. Um, the sponge cake is very moist. Uh, I, I blame the, 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 the custard for that. And the cinnamon on top is a, is a great... What's the... Tastes like hope? Yes. Dreams. Um, do we have a bigger spoon? <laughs> Guam was colonized by Spain in 1668, between the 16th and 18th centuries. Guam was an important stopover for the Spanish Manila galleons. During the Spanish-American War, the United States captured Guam in 1898. That's pretty standard. Under the Treaty of Paris, signed December 10th, 1898, 
Spain ceded Guam to the US effective April 11th, 1899. An unofficial but frequently used territorial motto as War America's Day begins, which refers to the island's proximity to the international date line. Now, Guam is among the 17 non-South governing territories listed by the United Nations and has been a member of the Pacific community since 1983. Pia Mia, you remind me of the Bogan Villa flower, the national flower of Guam. It smells like my hopes and dreams, and you look pretty in pink. Pia Mia, I'm different to all these other guys. I can't swim, I'm very bad at maths, but one thing I will do is I'll learn about you and your culture. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy your weekend and always remember to keep it fresh. Enjoy your weekend and always remember to keep it fresh. Like the ceiling can hold us. You know, a lot of these people that jump on these new platforms, they think it's all fun and games, ha 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 for the vibes. No the hell it ain't. I am the one who started the poly movement on TikTok. That's work, that's work. Well done, terrible too, Sean, as I got all of them in time. Woo!